So hope everyone is doing safe and well as we get used to this new normal. It's exciting that we're finally starting to be able to roll into our favorite businesses and use the services that um, we've become accustomed to and get a little bit back to a, a regular normalcy. But as you can see, we, uh, you know, clean slate here precedence. There's nobody here. We're still working from home, trying to be as safe as ever. Um, and I thought that I would emphasize something. So this is unique on the back wall. We have the word remarkable and our definition is worth making a remark about um, and worthy of attention. And quite often what that means is doing things differently in expectations to accomplish a better or greater result. And it's surprising to us that still, um, as we go through this period, that investment advisors and financial advisors still continue to use outdated um, investment theses and processes and they continue the whole buy and hold, we'll get through it mandate. So one thing that we wanted to emphasize is Obviously, you've seen a significant shift um, to your portfolios and to equity markets, um, something that we haven't seen for over 10 years. And still, to this day, we continue to hear advisors say, just wait it out, hold and, and prosper, and we'll get through this. Well, that doesn't really sound like any advice at all. And so what we wanted to do was give an update to the changes we made back in late March and uh, why they were so crucial and just to give comparison as to perhaps um, reference the type of advice that you've received. So back in at the end of March, and although there's no perfect timing on this, we missed it by a few days, but within the week, the low point of the market, what we were able to do was sell off our long-term uh, government bonds, emerging market bonds, and some of our long-term US treasuries, which had grown immensely during the initial stages of the pandemic. The whole reason why you all own non-correlated assets in the, in the first place. And for many of you who have followed, followed us for you know, several years, um, you know how adamant we are of these non-correlated assets. And then what we did was we trimmed those back and we put all of our money into the Canadian and US market with what were called marathon notes. And what those were able to do was give us enhanced upside as the market recovered. And again, we had no idea when or how much or what the effect of the recovery would be. But as of yesterday, the Canadian market is up about 20%. But those notes were trading above $136 with a $100 purchase price in that period of time. So we outperformed the market by over 16% in that period of time. So that means a 36% return. Now we have no idea what's gonna to happen tomorrow or the next day or if there's gonna be a second wave. But what we were able to do was virtually guarantee outperformance of the market throughout the recovery. So I have to ask, if you are not making these types of changes with your portfolio and your advisor is simply buy and hold or we'll get through this and the whole mantra that you know was present for the last several decades, you have to reevaluate what type of advice you're getting. And then take a look at if that's the portfolio advice you're getting, are there advanced tax strategies, different types of financial planning strategies that are gonna reduce tax, maximize your wealth and grow your assets? And if not, should you be reconsidering investigating possibly a, a different partnership? So again, I wanna emphasize, we have no idea what was going to happen. We have no idea what will happen in the future. If you hear your advisor use those types of uh, lingo, run for the hills because there's no way to know how markets are gonna respond. All we can do is react to what the market provides us with the highest probability of return. But if these changes are not being mandated, it's time to look elsewhere.